Hey guys, it's me, Yasin, and I hope you had a great Thanksgiving holiday. So now that we are in December, I'm back with another Best Android Apps of the Month. These are inspired by the holidays, so make sure you check them out and let me know which one's your favorite down below. The first app on the list is Backdrops. This is a wallpaper app that'll definitely get you in the holiday spirit. It has a very clean and simple interface, and that's what I really love about it. It starts you off with a featured wallpaper of the day, followed by the rest of the wallpapers in a tile format. Each wallpaper has a heart next to it, which makes it easy to select the ones you like. They get stored in your favorites tab, and that's just one swipe away to the right. In the main menu area, it lets you filter the wallpapers you see by categories. Right now there are 14 different categories, which make it extremely easy to find what you're looking for. And if you still can't find that perfect category, don't worry, because you can always do a search. Applying the wallpaper is also very simple, just click the set button, You'll get a little notification on the bottom and now your wallpaper is ready. And if you want to do minor edits like pan up the wallpaper side to side to better align with your phone, then make sure you hold the set button for a few seconds and make your adjustments. Backdrops also gives you the opportunity to upload your own wallpaper to the app so that others can use it. And I really love this addition. Simply select the picture, name it, and hit upload. Up next we have Here We Go. This is a perfect app for anyone doing any holiday traveling. Here we go is a turn-by-turn -turn navigation that doesn't require any data while you're traveling. You can simply download the maps to your phone before you leave your home. Then you'll have a full-featured navigation app with you throughout your whole trip without your data taking a major hit. If you're worried about storage on your phone, don't worry, you have the option to download exactly what you want from individual states to the whole country. So basically only get what you need. What makes this app even more awesome is the features. It has the ability to search for things to do nearby, from car rentals, places to park, where to eat, and even gas stations. For instance, if you search for a place to eat, it shows you on the map and also puts them in a list for you. Just simply go through the list and click on a restaurant and you can find helpful information such as a picture, links to their website, and even the ability to call them right from the app. This will definitely help a lot of people out with their holiday travels. Give this one a try and hopefully it will save you some data and it will save you from getting lost. The third app on the list is Send Anywhere. This is an app that lets you share anything on your phone with anyone that's pretty much anywhere. And since it's the season of sharing, let me show you how you guys can do it the best way. The app organizes the information on your phone into different tabs. You have photos, videos, audio, apps, contacts, and all other files. Simply browse these tabs and find exactly what you want to send and you can just select them. Multiple items can also be selected from different tabs. When you're ready, then just hit the red arrow at the bottom. Send Anywhere will generate a 6 digit key that's good for 10 minutes and all you have to do is share that key with anybody anywhere in the world who has the app using the share link. And if it's someone you already sent stuff to before, Send Anywhere will remember them under the Devices tab. You can also send files locally by creating a Wi-Fi direct connection. Now if you're on the receiving end, all you have to do is navigate to the receive tab on the bottom and input the provided key. This app is extremely powerful because not everything can be sent with a text message or emails these days. Send Anywhere will literally let you share anything on your phone. I mean you can even send apps to people to download on their phone. And by the way, this works both on Android and iOS. The next app is called Flip. Flip will revolutionize your grocery shopping and also help you find local deals wherever you will be traveling this holiday season. This app basically goes through the internet and finds all the store flyers and ads for the week. You start by setting your destination with a zip or using that locate me button. And magically, all the nearby store flyers are generated. You can then scroll through the flyers and click on a store you're interested in and look through the deals by swiping to the right. If you want to look at another store, simply scroll up or down to the different stores. You will also notice that there is a date span for the deals on the top left. And if you click on the I on the top right corner, you can access the address which can be clicked to get directions with Google Maps. But the best part of this app is the ability to just click on a deal and it will automatically be added to your shopping list. The shopping list is organized by store names and this will literally make shopping a breeze. It's one of my favorite apps and I actually use it on a weekly basis. So the last app is Alarmy. This app is annoying and useful at the same time. But let me explain. I don't know about you guys, but I hate waking up in the morning. 
So when I discovered this app, it actually helped me a little, but also got on my nerves. To keep it plain and simple, this is just another alarm app, but with a twist. Alarmy makes turning off the alarm a little more difficult, which in turn wakes you up. So when you set an alarm, you're given 5 choices on how to turn off the alarm. From basic dismiss button, to more challenging tasks such as taking a picture, shaking the phone, scanning a barcode, or my favorite, solving a math problem. Each one of these can be further customized, like how many seconds to shake the phone, or how difficult the math problem should be. So during my testing period with this app, I decided to take a picture of my desk and set that as my alarm method. It went off an hour before I had to get up, so it already started bad. And the only way to turn off the alarm was to literally leave my bed, walk to the next room, and take the same picture from the same angle so the alarm could shut off. In a way, it really worked. Now don't try to uninstall it while it's ringing, cause I did and it did not work. Give this app a try, or maybe just use it to prank somebody. Just be cautious.